This is Melanie, Movie Maven Gal. I saw two movies today. One movie was really great, and one movie was not great. I'll, I'll cut right to the chase. I took my husband to see Wonder Woman. It was his first time, my second time. That was a great film. And I went this morning to see Two Blight, and what was such a disappointment. I cannot believe that this, this is the same director, the same team that made Bajrangi, by Jean, which was such a great moving film. And they had similar elements in here. You have Salman Khan playing a simple man. Here he's obviously developmentally dis dislayed or something is going on with him that he's a simple, that thus the title, Too Blight. It's trying to have a message against bigotry. It's also pro probably trying to bring a Chinese audience by having a Chinese actress in it, Juju. She was beautiful, but very halting with her Hindi. Like I would really know, you know, I, I don't speak Hindi myself, but I can tell when someone is basically parroting um, lines that they've tried, you know, phonetically memorize. It, had the, it has the most adorable child actor in the world. He was great. And it's nice to see Om Puri in his last performance, but I'm telling you, it's not worth your money to go see this film. It's just not. Salman Khan owns the holiday of Eid as far as movie releases. I had such high expectations because while I, and I'm a number one Shah Rukh Khan fan, I'm also a Salman Khan fan and I wanted a good movie. I wanted to have that emotional journey that Bajrangi by John gave me, even that Sultan gave me, not as much, but it still did. And it just wasn't there. I sat there in the theater for two and a half hours and I was not moved. How could I not be moved about a story with this cute little boy and all of this? I just wasn't. And it is absolutely ridiculous that Salman Khan is cast in a, in a script like this. The script wasn't that great to begin with, but it's being compared to Koi Milgaya for a reason. And Hrithra Kroshan was the exact right age to play that kind of young developmentally delayed, you know, person coming of age and and Salman Khan just seemed ridiculous in this. I'm sorry. He just, there's so many roles that he could play that would be so moving and so great. Why can't he just play a father already? I mean, Amir Khan has done it in Dangal and was great. Showed his gray hair, showed his gray beard. Shah Rukh Khan, I'm talking to you too. Just play a father already. Casting is one of the major problems with it. Salman Khan and his brother Sohail are just too old for the parts as they are written. It's, and I can't, I just couldn't get past that. Um, I really like Salman Khan. I'll tell you something. Last week, my son, who is 16, asked to see and this is rare, he's only seen three other Indian films in his entire life, and two of them are both Bahubali films. He asked to see a crazy action Hindi film. And I said, I've got the perfect one for you. And I showed him Debang. And he was so taken with Salman Khan. He thought it was amazing. He's like, this guy is so cool. There's so many parts that Salman Khan can play, but this was not one, I guess I sh should give him props for trying to stretch and trying to do something a little bit different. It just didn't work. The whole thing just didn't work. It didn't move me. It didn't make sense. I can't recommend you spend your money to go and see this film. And it was so disappointing because you just do have such high expectations for a Salman Khan film and a partnership with Kyber Khan, the director, who did Bajrangi by John. They worked so well together in that previous film, and I knew there was going to be a cute little kid, and all of those elements were going to be the same. It just didn't work. It just didn't work. This is a spoiler-free review. I'm not going to spoil, but Shah Rukh Khan does have a cameo. I don't think that was really announced so much before. Have they been on the screen for 15 years? This should have been a momentous thing. It was a really good moment. And I, you know, I've enjoyed seeing Shah Rukh Khan on the big screen with Salman. Still not worth it. And I mean, Om Puri, of course, is always great, but 
And you know, it's sad that this is his last role. It really is. I wish I had seen DJ. The, the screen times didn't work out with the family obligations that I had. I'm going to see DJ tomorrow. I hope DJ will be a much better film and save this weekend for me because what a letdown. What a letdown. I don't even know how many stars to give it. I've seen one star reviews of this film. I've seen the highest maybe is three stars. You can see they spent a lot of money, but it just wasn't it just wasn't the emotional journey that moved me. And that's you know, it should have been. It should have been. It's based on this American film called Little Boy that I had never heard of before, but is about a little boy who thinks he can stop uh, the World War II. And, you know, they transferred it, and I just don't think it works when you have a 50-year-old man going, you know, holding in his arms, and I don't know, it just seemed more ridiculous than moving. Back to Tiger, I liked, and I have hopes, I guess, that this team can pull together and hopefully do a good sequel, and maybe if they have a failure, with this film, they will put more effort in making that one a good film and not half-assed. Peace out.